Okay. Buttons are pressed. Gotta clear my eyes one sec. I should have at least got some of this stuff done before I actually start recording, but it's amazing what you don't think of until you're about to do it. Anyway, hi. Welcome to a uh, Monday. And as tradition states, Mondays are us doing states, so here I am. And we finally did it. After, Christ, it might have been a month now of me not understanding the name of states, alphabets, what comes where. We finally got to Minnesota. I don't know if alphabetically this is halfway through the states. I mean, I could do some math. I could actually spend time and look at it. I could have done some prep beforehand, but I haven't. Um, I'm constantly adjusting this blanket I have sh draped over me like it's a fucking cape because I'm very early on a Sunday morning recording all of these right now. And I felt like wearing this blanket. I'm standing up at my desk now. Oh, uh, it'll be a weird, weird couple of weeks, but I'll talk about those stuff next, uh, on Wednesdays. But here we are, as we usually do on Mondays, talking about states, and we've made it. Minnesota. That's what we're at. And uh, without any further ado, we will start the game. And I'm very much um, set to have a god awful round because as you see, Minnesota's a big, a big old place up here, and uh, it's gonna be. Which I was actually surprised when I saw the uh, population density map of the state. This thing is pretty sparsely populated. I mean, it's a lot of people live in the state. It's but. They're mostly focused around uh, Minneapolis and St. Paul. Like 50, what was it, 55% of residents live in this little area here. If you got some time, go ahead and look at the uh, um, state density population map for the state. And you'll see how very little there is outside those two places. It's uh, Pretty crazy. It's a huge state, uh, but we'll get through all that by going over the general statistics and information for the state. It is the state of Minnesota. As you can see, it's out here in the northern Midwest. We'll call it my blanket is slowly falling off me. I'm too lazy to actually sit and adjust it, and now I'm full of shock, and the next metal thing I touch will probably explode, which is great to do around electronic equipment. Anyway. It's Land of a Thousand Lakes. It's the North Star State, which I've never heard before. The Gopher State, I have heard. The Aga Agate, Agate, A-G-A-T-E. I never really know how to say that uh, stone. I think I just go Agate because Agate, it doesn't sound right. It's True North and also the state of hockey, which um, I'm going to say is debatable. If you know anything about the... Uh, NCA hockey and uh, their version of the uh, March Madness that isn't happening this year. Uh, the Frozen Four, they call it. There's usually um, three or four states, I have to say, that are usually involved in that. And that's, uh, well, I'll go to states. I'll say Massachusetts, North Dakota, Minnesota, uh, and sometimes Vermont. Uh, it's usually a mixed match of those where Boston University, maybe sometimes Boston College are in it as well. You've got North Dakota. I think it's North Dakota State University. Oh, we do have. This might actually be a root sign or is it a speed limit? Oh, we're. St. Louis County? I don't know what that is, but junction of 750. I feel that this is a small enough number that, Jesus Christ, I don't know if I'm actually ever going to see it. But I will try. Um, how close do I have to get to see these? I think this far. So not knowing how the state has split up their roots 
I'm going to uh, kind of guess maybe we're up here. Um, but I've not seen anything in 35 seconds. Junction of 750. Where the hell is that? We over here? Um, yeah, again, be prepared for a god awful score. It, it's gonna happen. Are we down here? 250. Where the fuck 750? None of this makes sense. I'm gonna say, like, maybe up here near Brainerd. But it, 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 I don't know. Oh, it's one of these. Well, fuck me. I, I'm, there's no way I'm going to find that. Yeah, see, we're, we're up near, uh, Saxon Bog. <laughs> near, uh, Toivola. Anyway. Oh, St. Louis River. There we go. Interesting little square here. Um, anyway, let's continue. It's the uh, 32nd state admitted to the United States on uh, May 11th, 1858. Um, capital is St. Paul, which part of the uh, Twin Cities here. Uh, let's see, largest city is Minneapolis. The metro is, Mini it's called like the metropolitan area of the Twin Cities, Minneapolis, St. Paul. It's, uh... Let's see here. Area is 86,000 square miles, which is 225,000 square kilometers. 8% um, of the state is made up of water. Like, I think I heard something crazy that there are more lakes, I think, within the state of Minnesota than there are in all of Canada. Which I found really hard to believe. But, um, I mean, it's got to be true. I heard it somewhere. No, um, it's, it's a uh, place I've never been to before. It's apparently one of the wealthiest states in the, uh, in the country. Uh, tenth, apparently the average household income is $68,000. It's pretty high. Um, actually, the size of Minnesota, it's the 10th, it's the actually 12th largest in area. Kind of crazy, the highest elevation is only 2,301 feet or 701 meters. And the lowest elevation is right off Lake Superior. Um, let's see, anything else here in the quick facts? No. Etymology, apparently... The word Minnesota comes from the Dakota, named for the Minnesota River, which got its name from one of two words in the Dakota language. Uh, M-N-I-S-O-T-A, and there's some little accents on things, so I'm not going to pretend I know how to say it, which means uh, clear blue water, or mini vota. I mean, it's using the, uh, the, the German B, which is like Weiss. It's like a W, I think. Uh, my Germans non-existent, so I'm not, oh, we're in Boner County, oh, Becker County. It would have been better if this was Boner County, but I get it. Um, I am never going to get this one either. I wanted to go that way. Nope, nope, we're going to go back. Why do you refuse me? We're going this way. Oh, no, we're not. <laughs> oh, dad, yeah, there's no way I'm going to figure it off out off of these. We're on Route 34. Fuck me. I know where St. Louis County is at least now, but Becker County? Mm, not so much. We're on the junction of, what was it, 34 and what? Well, 34. Never mind. 34. I am not going to find this. I don't know why I feel it's down here. But... Um, we're gonna, we're gonna try to find it. 34. I mean, we're like so close, but also not. <sighs> 62, 63. Man, we're, it's, it's slapdash how these numbers are put together here, but I feel we're close. I'm gonna click like here. These numbers are getting bigger and smaller. <laughs> uh, but we'll make do. At least try to. Um, 
What else we got here? Oh, the the state. You got one word mini. Oh, we ran out of time. Oh, we were up here. Well, mini vota, which means cloudy water. Apparently, the way they demonstrated this to early settlers was dropping milk into water and calling it M N I S O T A, which I was always wondered how they actually first came about, like discussing languages between two cultures who've never met before and what what they have to do. I'm sure, it's a lot of like object, point at it and say the word. And I guess you can kind of base your uh, your culture. Like I'm just looking and I see Dad's corner over here. I don't even know if I'm going to actually get over like 2,000 points here. This looks to be, I was going to say highway, but that's railroad tracks. It's not actually the other highway here. Um, what else we got here? Anything quick to go off here? Temperatures, oh, the, it, it, it kind of fluctuates quite a bit. It's a very, uh, being up in the north here, you've got yourself a, uh, very, I guess the best representation of getting all seasons. At 370, this is a big road. You know, you've got pretty hot summers. It looks to, like, Minneapolis apparently gets, like, um, 83 in the summer, and uh, like January can be like 23 degrees Fahrenheit, which is negative four. And then you got places like International Falls, which I believe is, isn't it up here? Where is it? International Falls. It's got to be up here on the border somewhere. I know it. Anyway, that gets like apparently 15 degrees in the summer. I mean, in the fall, winter, fuck, where's my head? I don't know, it's early still. Um, <clears throat> it's looking through here. Yeah, there's the population thing, it's crazy. When you talk about, um, at least pop culture, when you think about Minnesota, like Wikipedia gives like video movie videos, uh, movies to, uh, talk about uh, culture up here and they talk about Minnesota nice which I guess you can kind of like US Highway 59 Northeast alright let's oh there's 59 okay Northeast and the problem is oh we do have an intersection of 117 so I feel I actually have something to go off here 117 we're gonna we're gonna do this for a bit you'll have to excuse me as I talk about uh, 117. Minnesota nice. And uh, I guess the best uh, example of it, and I, I think we're close. I'm going to click here just because it's a few numbers off, and I feel ah, this has got to be. It's got to be. It's got to be here. Cause there's 118. Where the fuck's 117? Why are you doing this to me? Um, the best example of Minnesota nice, or at least northern nice, and, and the uh, dialect. Oh, there's 117. So we're like right, right here. Um, I don't know what direction we're heading, unfortunately. So we're going to take a look at this. Oh, I, I don't see that. Anyway, you can watch the movie Fargo. Like, Fargo, don't you know, G now, then, yet. Or, I remember as a kid, always watching, um, I think your show was called Bobby's World. It was a cartoon. And Howie Mandel's cartoon. Back when he had, uh, my memory is probably off here, but he wasn't always bald. He had hair. Much like, uh, I need to Google this. Give me one sec. I did, I did click. Okay, I did. I need to look this up because I need to remember the name of the guy who sings this song. Uh, Lionel Richie. He kind of had like curly permed hair, if I remember right. And I almost feel like um, I need to see what his hair looks like now. Uh, give me one sec. Uh, I 
and if it's as yes it is okay let me let me go to the images here here is an image uh let's see i want to see this i'm going to drag this real quick into the uh screen here so you can see what he looked like that he had a perm look at that i'm doing such production on this just trying to show what he looked like back then but it it was a uh interesting show anyway the whole point of that was the mom on bobby's world sounded like uh someone from fargo i spent way too much time on that but there's also other uh shows they talk about grumpy old men grumpy old men juno dropped it gorgeous young adult serious man new town rio and it, it's it's I guess a lot having to do with their history and the people that settled in Minnesota here. You've got a lot of uh, Scandinavian countries coming in here. It's a lot like Michigan as well. Like a lot of basically what you would kind of find here settled most of this here. A uh, small segment of the Scandinavian population attend a traditional Ludafisk dinner to celebrate Chris Christmas. Uh, let's see here. Um, famed singer, well, famed musician, I should say, like, the guy was craziest, he, he was pretty, he was like artist weird, who was Prince, uh, I guess probably one of the better examples of it, even though, after the fact, talking to the guy, he was, he was a little, um, a little, I guess disappointed in himself and how he actually uh, depicted the guy. But uh, one of the first evenings with Kevin Smith where he talks about actually um, interacting with Prince, that was a pretty good example as to dealing with the guy. There was the entire uh, Charlie Murphy skit when he played basketball with Prince. Uh, he, was, he was a very uh, lucky parl. I feel like we're up here just because this entire, most of Canada, at least when the Europeans came over here, a lot of it was settled by, or, or first uh, settled by Europeans were uh, French, Canadian, well, French fur trappers. So a lot of this stuff up here is going to be um, block do whatever, 31 and 29, huh? So we at least we have a triangulation. And by triangulation, I mean... Uh, crossword, crossword, crossroad. But anyway, Prince is from, I think, Minneapolis. Interesting guy, to say the least, if you ever want to like. There's 29. But I'm not seeing a 31 anywhere. Where does 29 go? Is there like a, I'm going to click here just so we have, again, a, a, a place to, I guess, kind of be near, but I'm not seeing a 31 anywhere here, which is a little disappointing. Anyway, we continue on. Like, uh, it was weird when I first heard that, uh, Boyd, where is Boyd? Let's. Kind of look around to see if I can't find Boyd anywhere. There's six. Why do I keep seeing six and think, oh, six miles? I'm an idiot. Um, if you're doing a drinking game with me and you have the button where it says I'm an idiot, go ahead and take a drink. Or I say the word I'm an idiot. But the song Nothing Compares to You was a Prince song, although the only... Um, version I heard for the longest time was uh, her version 2931 I'm not I'm not seeing it anywhere here which is a little disappointing is there anything else I feel like I've said absolutely nothing about the state oh there was one little anecdote I wanted to say off of the uh, I want to click forward thank you 212 I don't think I'm anywhere near it. 210. 
212. Oh, we were the other side. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, the uh, book, one of the books I read last year um, called, I actually wrote it down because it was so important. Oh, actually, we're in a city town thing here, so this actually might give me some decent points. That looks to be a ex no longer existent Hannaford's, um, but the book I read called Northland, and it has to do with this guy who basically traversed the entire northern border, northern border of the U.S. and the southern border of Canada. Let's let's not forget them. And then the odd and interesting places he went to, and one of the places was this weird little uh, triangle here that I can't remember off the top of my head the reason why the U.S. kept this little bit here, but there's a um, town up here, and I believe it's like Angle Inlet or one of those, that the only way you can actually get to this is from a road through Canada. Um, this guy has like a bunch of log cabins, not log cabins here, uh, summer camps up here. And the guy built this. He built the road here through the woods to actually connect to this. It's, it, there's some weird, like, workarounds they have to do to actually let people, you know, U.S. citizens come here. I mean, a lot of the time it was just reached by, reached by boat, but they had to have roads. It was an interesting little... Um, little... Uh, story about like those weird things oddities that a lot of places take for granted for time zones or whatnot where like one town is three feet on a time zone and then the other town's on the other one and because the way it works like if you called anybody on the uh other side of the time zone you're actually paying long distance you know it's 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 weird stuff like that ramsey county 65 no, I've not seen anything to let me know where we are yet. So I'm hoping that I can maybe get a uh, vape shop, CBD center. Maybe get a little bit of uh, help here finding out where we are. Anyway, if I remember correctly, uh, Minnesota, like maybe not the state, but at least Minneapolis, I think they're technically a refugee city, which. Um, one of the cities I used to, well, cities in air quotes, I've said this before, um, that I lived in is also considered that too, where a lot of um, refugees from other countries, when they come to the U.S. and need places to live, one of the places they're designated to are um, uh, refugee cities. And I believe Minneapolis is one of them, and it has a lot, uh, one of the, I guess, signs of that is one of the most recent elected officials to U.S. I think she's a, a representative, not a senator. Um, Omar Ali... Oh, I'm going to get this wrong, so I'm going to scroll up a sec so I can actually get this name because it is on Wikipedia. Um, her name is... Where is it? See the list. Her name is, yeah, Ilhan, Ilhan Omar. I believe she was um, Somalian. Oh, man, I've got nothing here. Fuck, I've just been... We're in Minneapolis. I'm going to click down here. Uh, I believe she's Somalian. Her family was a refugee from one of the other... From Somalia that came here, and I believe that's how... Oh, so I at least got close. Ah. Uh, so, I don't know how I got to this point, like, the end of the video here. This is weird. I, yeah, under 10,000. I like the map. We'll do that. I guess we'll summarize the state. It's, uh, interesting. Like, this whole, I'm using my hands again to point, whole region of the U.S. is just kind of this weird en enigmatic um, thing to me, that it's all this very cold, as cold as it gets, at least in where I live, 
if not a little bit. Wind, windswept tundra full of lakes. That would be fun to visit. And feels a lot like where I live, only on a huger scale. Um, I guess summers I would call it idyllic, maybe mosquito-ridden, depending on where you would go. Uh, probably one of the pretty places to go to. If you like water, anything having to do with water, go ahead and go see it. If you want to see how um, Northern European culture exists in uh, the U.S., come to Minnesota. It's a fun place. Anyway, that didn't feel all that informative. Hopefully, you got something out of it. If not, at least you feel compelled enough to actually find this stuff out for yourself and prove me wrong. Either way, I'm, I'm glad you watched it. Again, I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, complaints, corrections, thoughts, go ahead and put them in the comments below. I will read them and get back to you. Um, the week continues on as everything else does along with it. What a pointless sentence. Anyway, I'll see you all on Wednesday for another round of geoguessing. But until then, you know what to do. I'll see you then. Wow, this was a long video.